good afternoon children children today we will see a paper pattern fa2 paper pattern i will show you fa2 paper pattern and we'll do revision okay children now see you fa2 paper pattern children total mark 10 marks paper is of 10 marks okay each question for one mark each question for one mark means how many questions will be there 10 questions how many questions 10 questions okay now we will see the pattern see it is full multiple choice question it is a multiple choice question mcq only okay first question is fill in the blanks first question is fill in the blanks options will be given okay four questions will be there for four marks one question for one mark total four question in fill in the blank so four marks okay children you have to select the correct option three options will be given out of that you have to select correct option okay question number two is true or false it is for three marks means how many questions will be there in true or false three questions okay true and false option will be given if the statement is true click on true if the statement is false click on false okay children now ne next question question number three Question number three is stepwise thinking problem based on lesson number four. Okay. Stepwise thinking problem. The steps will be given to you. Okay. You have to arrange it in a proper sequence and you select a proper sequence. The options will be given of the correct sequence. Okay. So you have to select the correct option of that sequence and you tick on that option this this question is for three marks children okay this question is for three marks fine now children i hope you all understood this paper pattern only three questions will be there one fill in the blank write true or false and stepwise thinking one problem solving you have to arrange the steps in a sequence okay now we will move on to revision okay children see lesson number three and four we have lesson number three and four for the exam that is for fa2 exam okay what is the lesson number four that is windows customizing win customizing and personalizing windows right window 10 children we have learned about the window 10 in this lesson right window 10 is the most popularly used operating system window 10 is developed by the microsoft corporation right window 10 controls the overall activity of computer as well as the operation of each and every part of it window 10 is what children it is an operating system right it is an operating system understood now next see window 10 is the most popularly used operating system developed by microsoft corporation okay now next we have learned that is a booting process do you remember i told you the booting starting and restarting a computer is known as booting okay starting computer is a cold booting and restarting computer is a warm booting do you remember that cold booting and warm booting there are two types of booting we have learned right cold booting is starting computer and restarting computer means warm booting right now children when you start a computer okay your laptop which is having a window 10 operating system when you start that first screen which we get that is a lock screen which screen we get first lock screen okay 
here we enter the password and then the next screen which we get that is a desktop screen okay now lock screen prevents the unauthorized user from accessing your files it prevents the unauthorized user from accessing your files okay children now once you enter the password in this you get a desktop screen after entering the password you will get a desktop screen that that screen is known as a desktop you will get a screen that screen is known as a desktop see children like this we have seen right here you can see the background that background is a wallpaper okay that background okay and now see the start button and the start menu start button is a button located on the bottom of the left corner of desktop i showed you last time i showed a desktop in the live session we have seen the desktop screen and left side left hand bottom there is one start button right when we click on the start button we get all start menus and it is used to open the start menu right children see here this is a start button on the left side corner bottom okay and these are the menus which we get on the screen start menu what i uh, explain this start button is uh divided into two parts vertically divided into two parts left side all the applications and right side we have a tile right side we have a tile okay children now see now we will move on to the next lesson that is a stepwise thinking and reasoning children why stepwise thinking is important that we have seen in this lesson right children stepwise thinking is a kind of thinking activity with a purpose or goal in a mind whatever problem we want to solve we first think right we first think we try to get a solution of it and then we act on it right and then we first decide what we will do first then what we will do next then what we will do after that that these are the steps we decide and then we try to solve the problem or get a conclusion to any problem this is called stepwise thinking and reasoning children computer follows our instructions and work accordingly in a step by step manner i told you that why we are learning this step wise thinking to know that computer also work on a step by step manner computer gives us a correct result right children how it give because it follows the steps it follows the steps it follows our instructions and work according to the step to get a final result right children if we solve a problem in a step by step procedure it will give correct result it will give accurate result understood any problem it is you try to solve it step by step you will surely get a 100% accurate result right children now see this is one of the example see every day we all the things we do step by step right so this is one problem which we will solve in a step okay arrange the following steps in a proper sequence to open notepad right children you all know what are the steps we are following to open the notepad right see here the steps are giving uh, not in a sequence these steps are not in a sequence you have to arrange in a sequence okay first step is given click on all program second step is given click on accessories third step is click on start button and fourth step is click on notepad children these are not correct steps okay if we will follow we will not open we cannot open the notepad 
okay these are the wrong steps we have to arrange it in a proper steps arrange it in a proper sequence right these are the steps given we will arrange in a proper sequence so which is the first step click on start button click on start button so which is the step the so first step which will come first step number three will come first in a sequence right step number three then then click on all program then step number one after three which sequence will come step number one then click on accessories folder then step number two and then click on notepad that is our step number what step number four okay so click on start button click on all program click on accessories and click on notepad so this is the sequence so which step will come first step number three will come first then step number one then step number two that is click on accessories and then step number four is the last step that is a click on notepad so if we will follow these steps we will we can open notepad right children so this way the question comes in the uh, exam fine for the stepwise thinking any question will be there fine you have to just arrange the steps accordingly in a sequence and you have to select the correct option only you have to select the correct option fine this is just an example so you uh, study this how to do you can study how to open paint you can study how to open um, open word pad in a step sequence right proper sequence understood children so here we have finished our revision see all a problem might look difficult initially but it can be easily it can easily be solved in steps if you will solve any problem in a step it will you can surely solve that problem okay so here we have finished our revision of lesson number three and lesson number four so all the best for the exam children you study all the questions which are behind the textbook in the textbook behind the lesson and uh, all the objective question okay multiple choice questions okay children have a nice day thank you